Um, so I looked at what it was in the budget for the agriculture industry, and to be honest, there wasn't much. It's not much of a surprise. They had just announced their big five-year funding framework for, for the agriculture industry with the provinces. Uh, but there still were a few surprises. There's $75 million for Global Affairs Canada to put, essentially, trade boots on the ground. So they're going to um, create this program to kind of increase Canadian presence in, in China diplomatically and at trade shows and that kind of thing. 75 million over five years, and then there's an additional 11.8 million for years after that. Um, those people looking for NAFTA insight, though, are probably going to be a bit disappointed. Uh, the government hasn't given us any insight as to what their plan B might be. Um, they do stress the importance of NAFTA, obviously, but uh, they don't really spell out what their plan is if the talks should should fall apart. The dairy industry is also going to be upset because there is no uh, compensation funding for some of the concessions that were made under the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or sorry, the Comprehensive and Progressive Trans-Pacific Partnership. Uh, that could be seen as maybe being disappointing for them, but there's also the possibility that given we're in the NAFTA talks, uh, those compensation packages could be announced at a later date if there's concessions under NAFTA. So that's kind of what I looked at.